Anyway, I'll figure it out myself. Alrighty then. So let's just do some things over here. Okay, so let's go with the highest one, highest affinity. There it is. Ah, been waiting for that. <laughs> okay, so we got that down. And then the lowest goes to the eight hours, while the rest goes to four. comes to coins to get more uh, furniture. Oh wait, did I just hit 12,600? Whoa, okay. I don't even realize that. I think that's from the new Nomad event. Because clearing those Kind of gives you more furniture and stuff. I'll take it. So it's not going to be that long, to be honest. It's probably just spending those... Uh, energy. And, well, I did... like I think the, the, the defense, too. This is, like, the easiest one. All you got to do is just, like... Kill them quick. And that's it really doesn't have anything else like receive immobilized status no more than four times like even, even the hardest difficulty usually like this is the really hardest to finish but like it's still like no more than four times so it's just easy just dodge just dodge just, just that that easy ultimate member are not er erosive character who cares i have so many aoe with me <laughs> i have made moon i have uh party dress cornelia and also i have te leader also and less than one enemy escape. This is probably this is like the most challenging one because I'm not gonna lie, I'm I've seen like two enemy pass through and yet the counter still 10 out of 10. It doesn't go down to like 9 out of 10. So I was like, wait, what how's that happen? And I like, you know what? Let's not let's not question that. <laughs> so literally three of these I did it in just one go. All of this mission in just one go no repeat so like yeah this one is the easiest one like combat this one i haven't really you know tr try harding i guess because i think the the, the the most challenging one is this you skill 15 times <laughs> those are like the the only thing that i need to get for from each difficulty 
Because you scale 15 times is pretty kind of... I don't know. It might be challenging, might be not, but it depends on which unit you bring. Maybe bringing one unit that has like super fast recharge or like super low energy costs and like you can just spam it easily. That would be just super nice to have. And usually that kind of unit is from like lower rarity, like normal or rare card. I think I have one. Uh, which team that is? Yeah. Yes, sir. Because it's so fast, like only 8 second cooldown, you can just like spam it pretty quick. 15 times, and it doesn't really do a lot of damage, maybe. So I, I could try to do this one, because... Well, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think those two. This and this. I still haven't really tried yet. This one, man. This one really kills me, man. This... Uh, <laughs> so freaking hard. Like, I don't know if I, if I need to get every single mission to 240 to get this frames. Because it seems like it, man. Uh, how many is this? Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. And each one is like 80, so... Yeah. So, 240 times 10. So yep, exactly. So, I have to get every single one of them if I want to get this. But my goal is definitely all the way here. Just 2k and I should be fine. But, well, just for swag. You know what I mean? Getting this is for swag. Just like the first event with the uh, tactical equipment leader. But those are pretty... Oh, boy. <laughs> those are really annoying because the, the infib infibble thing... That the boss gives like ish why you do this i should be fine with this to be honest and also i got the uh already redeem party, dr uh, party dress birthday moon heck yeah but the thing is if you try to limit break her you need this which is surprising because i don't think anyone else uses this for limit break i don't want to limit break just yet because i need this i need a lot of these for the uh fantasy oath for cornelia so i don't know when i'm gonna use her or like at least limit break her because well i mean she is definitely worth building up not gonna lie super strong healer but well we'll, well we'll we'll figure it out you know what i mean we'll figure it out uh i don't know if i want to upgrade a uh, limit break this weapon too though not gonna lie i have so many of these so i could just easily get this to 70 to make this team even more crazy strong but i uh, i don't know is it worth it though it, i mean it is pretty good it is kind of good though, not gonna lie. <laughs> Give some stagger damage. Help with the breaks, you know. <laughs> this one is weakened for debuff purposes. Pretty good. So uh I don't know man. I I have no idea. So that's why I kinda still holding on to it. Plus, I do have like a lot of this. I have a lot of this uh, material with me too. I mean, it's good to have this stocked up, I guess, just in case you need it, so you can just like burst it open, <laughs> just like all in with this, you know? Because I need five at least for this to seventy. Yeah, I need five. So like this row is gonna be gone, but I still have like eleven left. Maybe I'll just save it for now, because I still have no idea if it is a good idea to max this weapon or not. So, yeah.
we'll just wait and see, man. We'll just wait and see. And maybe there are other like purple quality weapons that much better uh investment, I guess. But ah, uh, who knows? Maybe I should just level it up. I'm not gonna be too worried about this. Like, there's no way this boss can kill me. We're chilling, we're chilling. Maybe I should get some food first. Get some lunch going. I mean, I'm not really that hungry. Because I did get a little bit of food earlier, just for breakfast, I guess. If you can call that just soup, <laughs> not gonna lie. I mean, I'm not really used to, like, eat after I woke up, like, right away. I, breakfast isn't, I don't know, it, I'm not really, not really that I hate it, but i just not really used to. Because I'm used to, like, growing up, never really had any breakfast after I woke up. So at least I have to like wait a couple hours before I put something in my stomach. Unless it's a water. Like, water is a must. Uh, you know, after I woke up, definitely like immediately water. You know what I mean? But like food? Nah. I don't know why. Can I do that? I mean, I can. Like uh, right after I woke up, I just eat. I can, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. You know, it just... It feels weird. <laughs> I guess because uh already used to like since I was a kid back then, like my my school system back in not school system, like my school days back in elementary school or like all the way to high school to be honest, like it's pretty crazy when, when you think about it. Like school starts at six forty five. Legit. <laughs> so like I wake up super early in the morning, right? And uh, by the time I woke up, it's usually like already like uh, five thirty ish. And then like you know, get ready and on the way to the road like five thirty or like maybe if I get to if I wanna still you know press it closer, so I get to like five forty five. That's usually when I woke up usually or like six maybe even. Just like immediately uh, get ready. There's no food to take, there's nothing, so just drink, get dressed, go. 6.45. <laughs> you know, 6.45 class start. And then, uh, the first recess or breaks is around... I don't quite remember, but around 9-ish, I guess. 9 is where my finally get the food. Get the breakfast, I guess. So that's, so that's why probably I can't really... get some breakfast i guess because i'm already used to that kind of a uh, lifestyle so woke up not eating anything just go and then uh uh do i feel hungry not really that 
Because, I don't know. <laughs> it just happened, I guess. Um, but yeah, now that I think about it, it, I think because of that exact reason, because I, I lived that kind of life, I guess, for the my entirety of uh, school days. So, elementary, middle, high school. Yeah, I've been... Yeah, I guess that's that's the that's why it is. I guess. <laughs> so that's been used to like that kind of uh, way of life, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Hence why uh, now, like I kind of every time I woke up, I can't really just go eat. You know, I have to like wait for at least a couple, uh, one or two, or one, yeah, one or two hours now. Before I uh, get some get something to eat, like maybe like some fruit. Those are fine. Like it's not like heavy. If it is a heavy food, then or like a meal, like a proper lunch, like big, big meal. You know what I mean? Those are probably no. But for like, if it is just like some fruits or maybe uh, wait, never mind. Like even fruits still kind of feels weird in my stomach. I don't know. I'm I'm weird. <laughs> I'm weird. I mean, I could try to get some uh, some bread because I do have some bread with some uh, peanut butter jam. I could get that. Maybe I should get that instead of like straight out lunch. You know what I mean? Making, make myself some sandwich. Go back to GCG. Um, I'm doing good, like doing the data drill. Like data drill, also like this. This time around, is I feel like it's a bit easier. Maybe because I have more units now that I that I than I used to. Because legit, this feels a bit easier. But I need to like still build them up. That's the thing. I need to build them up. So that's why I think it's slow and easy, but you know. As long as I get them build them up, uh, as long as I get them build up, uh, any drill is not gonna be that hard, not that difficult, to be honest. Especially the diff I don't know why I love the defense on the data drill. Not gonna lie, I don't know why, man. It's so much fun. I get the first one to 100%, which is my biggest achievement, not gonna lie. And then the second one, I haven't really like try hard it, I guess. But I got it to like 91%, so which is pretty good still. But I think I can get it more than that. If I build my character to the max. At least the character itself. To level 70. Like uh me uh What do you call it? Miko Yuki and also uh is it Miko or Casual Yuki? I don't remember. But the one that gives you shield in front of you. And then... I mean, Swimsuit Moon is already maxed out. But the Mate Leader... Not Mate. Ca casual Leader also. If I build them to max level 70 and then like the skill to all four. Like fully awaken them too. 
Beta Drill defense is gonna be a piece of cake. Legit. I think I can set a level 70 moon if I want to. The mate moon. Maybe I should, I don't know. So my next goal is gonna get is gonna buy the uh, module, the gold one, and then after that, this goes down the list. To be honest, uh, since you know uh, the fantasy oath item, we need a lot. So uh, I mean, I will definitely get all of them, but it's not like I can finish Cornelia's uh, fantasy oath item now with all this item from the uh, shop, but. I'll just follow from the most expensive and goes down to the cheapest one. I'll just follow that. Make things faster a little bit. Decent amount. 60 times 8 is 48. I cannot do math. Yeah, 48. And then 6 times 8, another 48, so 528 ish. Which is good. 800, I got this. Boom. And then next is 300, is the highest, 500, there it is, so I need 1k for this, for two of those thing. And then after that, it is a 300, yeah, after that is all the 300, all the furniture, I need, I need all the furniture, man, I need all of these, <laughs> I need all these. It doesn't really show you how many it gives, huh? I need all these, all of these too. But after 300, it's gonna be 200, which is this. This three and this five. Man, there's still plenty of them. Hmm, not sure if I can get all of these then. Hmm. Well, after three said I get another 30, so maybe, I don't know. It's not reset yet. Already used most of the things. So got to 23% in one go. Easy. Can we reach 10% though? This week. Mm -hmm. It would be nice. You know what I mean? It would be nice to get get it to a uh, 10%. I'm not gonna try hard to 3% because there is no way I can get that as of right now. A lot of my uh Dress is still not really that leveled up yet, so
I can do this. October 21. That will be next week, right? So I'll just wait for next week then. Because I got this already. From the uh, event. Daily login event. If I do 10, I get this. Which is pretty okay, I guess. Uh, From this one. Yeah. And then after that, I'm going to get this, 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 this. Okay, I guess that's about it for GCG. Not not much going on, really. Since I've done everything yesterday by myself. Uh, just trying to max out some of the units that I have not maxed out yet. Like this too, at least. Then working down all the way down here. Casual Yuki, okay. I can get her to 50 if I want to. And I think I do have some Psionic uh EXP. Because <laughs> that's Today's uh, bounty hunt, but I don't know. I still, I, I don't know, man. I still kind of on the fence to limit break certain units, even though I should just limit break them because you know higher level means better support if you're gonna use them as support or like just if, if you put it on the main party roster also that just gonna be good regardless because you know higher stats and whatnot but i don't know especially the weapon man i have so many weapons that i might need i, I kind of have need, uh, bleh. <laughs> i think i should but i don't know And I have a lot of dupes also that I can use to uh, level them up. I forgot to do this. Oh, no. Use this one. At least I get that one. Man, I leveled up the, the wrong one. <laughs> oh well. Let me just do this. There you go. Nice and easy. And probably I should focus on this next. Because 5.5% uh, cooldown reduction. There's no limit, so like... And there's 3% chance every time you shoot. There's a chance to lower 5.5% so like if it triggers like 10 times in a row like bro <laughs> like bro that's pretty nuts you know what I mean uh, yeah, sadly there's not a lot of units like uh, that I have that uses this weapon even though this sounds pretty good you know but I could use this to limit break Yeah, why not? Sixty percent chance, hundred percent chance. Dang, it's pretty nasty. I can easily max this out. Like, look at this. I have a hundred and eighteen, <laughs> and I have six of gold one too. So, like, I have plenty of resources when it comes to weapon exp. Yeah, 1k EXP, sure. Since I could use that for uh, the next limit break. If I ever got one.
Maybe I should just level this up too. I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I kind of don't don't really want to waste it just yet. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, there might be someone that uh, another weapon that might be better off having those resources. You know what I'm saying? some dupes I don't know if this is good or not it's like how's bleed for bleed unit or units that have a bonus on bleed that might be good but other than that it's kind of whatever the lock one. That's that. 